Eivor, I worried you'd come to harm. I did not, but the Wren did. May the Wren's blood ooze into the lonely earth, and feed the forest with red milk. Give me the shard for the cure. The humors of the ancient tree live on in the amber now sparked by blood. Look, it turns deep crimson. The cure will be painful. The soldiers will writhe and plead to be killed as a mercy. But in a few hours, they will be well. Thank the spirits of the earth. The Wren carried a note. A note? The poisoning and the plan to accuse Barith was the doing of someone called the Cursed. There is a cottage in Tuam, where the Cursed hides. Perhaps we can find who made the poison there. It is a small hope, but hope still. It is nearby. We must go. Not yet. The cure is prepared. You must deliver it as quickly as you can. I will look for this mysterious Cursed. You take the cure to Cashalor. Three or four drops on each soldier. No more. Thank you, good friend. Goodbye. Eivor, I'll meet you under the tree outside Tuam, heading south. The Cursed will be your second child of Danu, Eivor. There are others. Were you to bring me all their shards, I could mix you a potion that would give you the first of the blazing sun. I will fell this one. Then I will think on the others and your mysterious son. Before you go, there is a darkness rolling toward Kira. Please watch over her. Has Barith escaped Flaunt's wrath? He has, and is much relieved. The soldiers are coming back to themselves. What have you learned? The Cursed will perform a sacrificial ritual. Sacrifice? Fae, the Cursed is then a High Druid. I learned that she is. But what does that mean? She wields great power. She will be protected by her acolytes. Not only her acolytes. I also learned the ceremony will be protected by a... a, a what was it? A pook. A puka? That will be dangerous, but we've no choice. The ritual will likely be held at Carnagan. We must look there. What is a puka? A kind of animal? A kind of animal? I will explain on the way. Come. The puka! Follow it! of the moon. Your curses mean nothing. You drew back when we most needed your awful life and death. The cursed is dead. She accused you of betraying the children of Danu. I was once one of them. How can this be? Deirdre warned me against them, but back then it seemed the only hope. You knew these people. Why did you not direct me to the Wren? They only wanted to use me. Distrustful and secretive. I never knew their true names or anything about them. A glen of great beauty lies on our road. Find me when you're ready, and I'll confess my errors there. to wash away my cares and pain in this pond. Would it be all right if I... Of course. As a young girl, when the Christians cleared the forests of druids, I fled and stumbled on this spot. 
How would I survive? My friends, the world I knew. Soon, I turned to the children of Danu. At first, they pledged simply to keep the old ways alive. Then, one by one, druids turned to dark rituals. Then they turned to worse. Yes, even murder. I disavowed the children, and now pray for their destruction. The high druid spoke of some sort of awful might. Fantasies. An ancient fable of a people long lost. The druids are now dispersed without a champion. You have King Flawn. My hopes are placed in him, but am I a fool? He has no deep love of the past. He hopes to build a new Ireland. He pledges that my people will be part of it. But once he's king, storms will come. I cannot know where he will take refuge. You are no fool. You and I have been through much together. We came near death. I would like to celebrate life. Is this why you brought me to this place? Tis a lovely glen. Perhaps we could pass some time here. I would like very much to pass some time with you. I lovely. Lovely indeed. Eivor, I have you and Kira to thank for curing my men. Even if the source of this sucker does not sit easily with me. Not all druids are your enemies, Lord. It is the children of Danu who attacked you. Kira has told me of this druid cult. They are no great threat if they must strike from the shadows. Perhaps they only sought to sow doubt among their enemies, and the friends of their enemies. I regret my earlier distrust. But I've seen too much Irish blood spilt by Danes to give trust easily. I know what it is to be bloodbound, Lord. It burns so bright it can blind to all else. So, King, if Allah is the prize, how do you mean to take it? The Ringfort there is the strongest in all the lands. Yet the kings of Allah dwell outside its protection, foolishly leaving themselves vulnerable. Still, that's a long march over uncertain soil. Your army will be exposed to forces unknown. Abaddon has offered land at Clahar, where our army will make camp. From there, we move on to Alech. This just arrived. The kings of Alech want to talk peace. They surrender before you touch their soil. I know those who would die for such a reputation. I don't like it. The wording is vague. Asking much and promising little. What's the harm in hearing them out? If we start with the sword, we have nowhere else to go. They know me. They'll listen. You would speak for me. If you would honor me with your trust. Do you have an opinion, Eivor? Or will you simply side with your cousin? It is not my decision to make, Lord. Too much is balanced on the edge of Skull's sharp blade. So, you would leave it to your fate. Drift along like a leaf on the river. My life has been one of warfare, plots, and intrigue. I have never known the trust of a brother, and do not give mine over easily. Arith McEver, King of Dublin, I hereby authorize you to speak for me, Flan Shinna, High King of Ireland and all of her people. I will honor the faith you have placed in me, my king. Do I have your blessing to accompany Barith, King Flan? I'll not waste our time on formalities, Eivor. But you'll not be going with Barris. I need you elsewhere. Tell me where. You must build up some goodwill among the northern Enail, as you've done for other kingdoms. Kira will provide the details at the pigeon coops. I will earn you their favor, Lord, for the trust you've shown my cousin. God has heard my prayers. You flatter me, Lord, but what's wrong? Where's Barris? He's not returned. 
Nor have two messengers sent after him. This cannot be simple misfortune. It hints at some dark design. Let me go after him, Lord. If he lives, I will find him. Even with your cunning and guile, you would not go unchallenged. Not without a king's pass, and few Vikings have those. I'd wager a few from Donegal do. Donegal? A Norse settlement? A port, on the western shore. A fair bit of their trade finds its way to Aljach, so someone there is bound to have a pass. Is this port well guarded? It's crawling with Norsemen grown lazy on success. They'd not expect someone to go Viking on them. Good. I'll go to Donegal now and get one of these passes. With your leave, Lord. If it means fewer lives lost, you have my blessing. Ah, a visit from my good friend. Illuminated Gospels have arrived from Listero, thanks to the new trade post you claimed. I'm impressed. You doubted me? I meant the manuscripts. The crafting is magnificent. What is it you do here again? I trade our trade post resources. Foreign lands can provide us with rare, exotic goods. Ah, my business partner. I'm sorry. I am curious to know how you came to Ireland. It is not an altogether happy story. I was once the most powerful trader in Shiraz. Then I was betrayed. Ah, oh, that is hard fortune. By my partner. Worse still. A knife to the back is a wound that never heals. Constantinos was a friend of my father's. One whose greed devoured my family and empire. But now I am here, where I am surrounded by new friends. We are pleased you found us. Who are you to come before the kings of Ilar unannounced? <laughs> Fergal! You're not Fergal. I don't know you. I am Sturm of Donegal. Who is Fergal? The King of Dublin speaks of a cousin who advised us for a time. A glorified goat herder who should have taken our advice. So, Sturm, what brings a Viking from Donegal here? You tell me. I came at your invitation. There's some mistake. I sent no such message. It wasn't me. It could have been you-know-who, but he hates Vikings. Forgive my brother's bluntness. We will get to the root of this, I assure you. Can I offer you a drink? Yes! More drink? I haven't seen the bottom of my cup since I got here. <laughs> if I wasn't a trusting man, I'd say they're trying to keep me drunk. No drink for me. I'll return when you have finished your king's business. If it's not drink you're wanting, you should take a tour of the ring fort. It's, it's renowned throughout the land. As we've told you several times, King Bard, the ring fort of Arla is not open to guests. In fact, you could even say that it's closed for a select few. Ah, so you're keeping prisoners there. <laughs> oh, have a drink, you two. Do you think I haven't taken a few hostages myself? I'll seek out a place to rest until you remember why I was summoned here. Of course. Of course. Your pass will grant you free run of this place. If you see Fergal, say hello for me. For the last time, Bart, the ring four is off limits. Join us, cousin. We've been having a grand old time, the kings and I. It's the abbot who's turned this place into a prison. He's taken hostages from all the families to control all of Ireland. Shut your gab, Donald. Owen would kill you if you talk too much. And Flan will kill us if we don't. It's like Donald said. It was Owen. He told us to delay whoever came until... Until what? Until the abbot could move his forces in. How many men? How many? We don't know. No one does. 
He has some companies at Arma, more men than he lets on. That's all I know. Left to my cousin, you'd both be puddles of blood and guts. But King Flan might spare your heads. You'll be treated as hostages, not prisoners. Until your king decides what to do with you. Now, think on your sins. It'll be easier in the end to let them keep their crowns, but... They don't need to know that yet. Flan must learn of this trap. I've already sent messengers telling him to pull his army back. I wasn't going to sit on my arse waiting for you. I'm impressed. Don't be. It took days of drinking that swill before Neil finally grew bored and careless. You've outdone yourself. I'll be sure to let the king know who the real hero was today. Thanks to you, cousin. Make sure that message reached Flan and I'll join you all later. May Sol and Mauni guide ye. Eivor, you did well at Alec. We march in the morning. I think it no small thing for you to lead my honor guard. Did you not get Barret's message, Lord? You must pull back, not move forward. This ruse is part of a larger trap, not yet sprung. Barret believes to know the minds of these kings, but the church has taken root and flourished since my uncle's day. The church is behind the plot against you. Did the message say nothing of Abbot Owen? King Neil and King Donal were doubtless seeking to cast blame elsewhere. The church is a convenient scapegoat. What if there's some truth to Barath's suspicions? Owen is the abbot of Armagh. God's appointed in Ireland. I cannot doubt him on the word of him. Friend. You mean a pagan. Why are you all still here? Did my message not get through? It did, but King Flan is not convinced. You must pull out a clawhorn now, my king, before we are surrounded by Owen's army. You do not command me, Barath McKeever. If there was an army, my scouts... Your scouts are dead. Baldur's blood, Flan. How many must die before you learn to trust? You forget yourself, Barith. Do not invoke your false gods in my presence. Listen. What's that? Owen's wolves have arrived. I didn't come this far to die in a tent, my king. They're under attack! Come on! End, don't you think? Worthy of a saga, maybe. And you thought I'd gone soft. No one knew your true measure. Not even you, cousin. <coughs> you had your doubts. Good thing I was too stupid to give up. <coughs> your bravery will be remembered, Barret. I'll see to it. Hold your weapon well, cousin. I will see you in Valhalla. Sigfrith is my Valhalla, Eivor. Valhalla need not be a place. It can be a legacy. Flan must back him. Have him swear by his god. There's nothing the Christians fear more than their almighty's wrath. will be done. The hero's funeral. Arith has become a greater man in death than he was in life. Or maybe we were too small to see his full size. A harsh truth. 
with fear. He saw more clearly than I. And I ignored his counsel. Owen will pay for his death. What then? When the abbot is gone and you've tamed the north? What of Siegfried? Will you give him your royal support? When he has proven himself. It would not be good politics at this time. Trolls take your politics. Barith gave his life in your service. If this is how you repay loyalty, you'll be in short supply. Twice you stung me with truth. I'll return the favor. Siegfried isn't ready. But he could be, with proper teaching. Good. He'll benefit from your wisdom. And my support. But neither throne will be secure while Owen lives. We'll throttle the snake. And afterward, the fate of this land will be in your hands. Your son Siegfried. The horses are being made ready, my king. Sure you don't want to rest your bones and leave by dawn's light? My thoughts ride too rough for sleep. I have an army and reputation to reclaim. The second may prove harder than the first. My mother used to tell me how the Morrigan would feed on the death of heroes, then fill men's heads with thoughts of war. I imagined using the Tara Stone to drown out their song, the way Bishop Patrick drove the snakes from Ireland. There is no power strong enough to do what you say. Not even the gods can change fate. The world is destined to end in war. It was not but the fantasy of a young girl, so... Hmm. Tell Flon I'll come to him after I've arranged things with Siegfried. Tell him yourself. I'm not leaving yet. Aver, I'm sorry. I did not notice you. Azar. We are good friends now. Ah. Let me guess. You wonder how I lost my eye. Such a loss is a badge of honor among the Norse. Not for me. I told you of my partner, Constantinos. Betrayal was not enough for him. In his fury to take all I had, his men beat me, left me for dead. They slew my family. I survived, but not in one piece. I'm sorry. I did not mean to bring up a painful past. You are my friend. It is best you know. Eivor! We will march upon Armagh immediately! This place smells like a brewer's hut. I will blood eagle the abbot with my own hands. I will blanket the north with the skulls of petty kings. Enough! If you charge into a man like a berserker, they will crucify you like their Christ. I'm sorry to tell you, my king. The siege weapons you requested are being held by Armagh. Hell have that abbot. Those weapons were to be a show of the strength of Dublin's new king. Forget about shows of strength. Cast your fortunes with Flon. The high king will be a powerful ally if you back him now. Where are these weapons coming from? Who's supplying Amar? A shadowy web of pirates run by a druid cult. They roost along the northern coast, looting and trading in equal measure. These druids, do they call themselves the children of Danu? In fact, they do. Led by one they call the Seed. Now that you have their scent, I wish you a good hunt. If there is nothing more, my king, I will return to my shop. I will gather what forces I can wherever I can, and join them to Flans. Together we will avenge my father. You have a strength that comes from him. When you find that, men will follow. Eivor, come in. Sigvrith tells me you've been hunting pirates in the north. Allies of Amar, providing weapons and other supplies. I've cut them off. God is truly with us. Owen is weakened. We'll soon taste God's justice. Do you have the men to take Arma? We do. Thanks to Siegfried. He has rallied Vikings from every corner of Ireland. <laughs> How did you convince the Norse to fight for you? <laughs> I told them of a monastery full of silver to be looted. Your father would not have made such a promise. 
And he would not have raised as many men. You cannot win the goodwill of the people by destroying their homes. Or their church. But, my lord, these men came expecting a raid. If we deny if them... If I may, I think in this case some burning might be useful. Tell me how. When we were attacked at Clother, Owen didn't stop there. He burned Cashelor as well, to send a message. It is our turn to light up the land with fire and smoke to let the people know that Amar has fallen. Burn what you must, but keep your warriors leashed. Kill only those who oppose us and spare the church. As you command, my king. There is something else. Abbot Owen leads the children of Danu. So, the poisoning, the ambush, they were all part of Owen's nefarious schemes. We'll cleanse our man of this unholy filth. Siegfried and I will prepare our men. Join me when you're ready. Choose a good view, dear poet. It'll be a battle for the ages. Thank you for not seeing anything about in my past. The past is past, and not our future. I swear, Eivor, you really are like a hero out of folk tales. Do I have permission to sing your song? You do. Once I've had a chance to finish it. Our forces are replenished. Thank God's good grace. Some part of those thanks should go to Sigfrid, Lord. Aye. I'll not forget his role today. He's a good man. But he lacks his father's seasoning. Then you must show him what it is to lead, Lord. In the court and on the field. Come. Let us flush out this false abbot without delay. Yes. Owen must answer for his actions. There are fewer defenders than I expected. They cower behind their walls. Let's strike while we have the advantage. We move forward, or remain alert. I will guide the right. House of God, Flanchina. I'll be cursed with his wrath eternal. You desecrate this holy place with foul corruption. You are a sickness to be purged. God will be my judge, not you. You act the Christian king, but let pagans and wolves do your dirty work. Do not preach about playing both sides. I know you lead the children of Danu. Do you? Then you should know you cannot win. My children are everywhere, even in your court. Who do you mean? Kira had the makings of a high priestess, but she was careless. Dabbled with forces she could not control. Don't listen, Flawn. He tries to cloud your judgment. Small wonder she charmed her way into your court. She's always been attracted to men of power. <laughs> you lie, devil. Huh. Love conceals blemish and evil. It's easy to lose sight when you're following a woman's backside. <sighs> There's no shame in keeping your hands clean of this filth. Let me do your dirty work. It's God's work. Protect your abbot! You shall not let your cattle breed with a different kind. You shall not sow your field with two kinds of seed. Do not quote scripture to me, Devon. May your tongue burn for eternity while your throat is pierced with jagged glass. No. You would rather have a song from your... pagan poetess. If she didn't tell you... about the children of Dan... what other secrets does she keep? <laughs> he tries to poison your mind with his dying words, Lord. Don't let them in. Could he speak truth? The best liars mix truth with lies. She was part of that cult. She isn't anymore. You are right, of course. Ah, this fetid air befouls my thoughts. Let us step out into God's cleansing light. It is a beautiful land. 
We are a blessed people. Word of our victory spreads like fire in a dry field. I couldn't stop all the looting, my king. But I made certain the people were spared. <laughs> they will sing of the High King who cleansed the church at Armagh, and the King of Dublin, who fought with honor at his side. And the hero who came from the land of heroes who helped them win the day. All will be remembered. The living and the dead. What has happened? They have summoned Flan. I hope he shows soon, if only to end this bickering. <laughs> Speak. Lord, there has been much deliberation these last few days. News of Owen has spread like a mountain fire. The people are frightened. We are unsettled, to say the least. A trusted abbot unveiled as a pagan conspirator. The druids have permeated the church at the highest level. There's no telling how far down it goes. Something must be done. We must rid them of this land. Begin an inquisition. How dare you speak like this? Owen acted alone. He belonged to a sect. There are others like him. Do you deny it? I do not deny it. But then you will speak only of the children of Danu. A weed that grew from druid roots. If we allow it to thrive, how can we ever be certain this will not happen again? Flom, I do not like what these men are implying. Do not entertain this. You would presume to tell your king what to do? You, who share those druid roots. You even know this sect by name. Perhaps, like Owen, there is more to you than meets the eye. Bastard! Enough! Speak to her like that again, and rats will sup on you. Alive. Apologies, my king. Poetess. I do not mean to cast suspicion, only to draw a very real comparison. We do not know from where the next threat will come. And we cannot simply hope that it will not come. We must put aside our differences and come together as Christians if we wish to preserve an Ireland under God. Flan, if you do this... I know well where you stand, Kira. Are there any others who wish to speak? I will. This gathering shows us something very clear. That there is solidarity in this cause. If we do nothing, the weeds will continue to sprout, leading to unrest across the kingdoms. But if we act, begin an inquisition. It will lead to unity this land has sorely lacked. These are my people, Siegfried! And there are those within who threaten the very fabric of this land. Can you really stand there and defend them? Anyone else? What is being proposed is a bold strategy, the consequences of which cannot be properly weighed just now. You must allow time to reflect, Lord. Every moment we waste weakens our position. Lord, we kings are all in agreement. There is but one move to make. We will launch an inquisition. Every druid will face a choice. Reform or exile. <sighs> the future of Ireland is a holy Christian one. Kira! Get out! Leave me be! What is this? What are you doing? Flan, spineless fool. What was he thinking? He saw an opportunity to unite the kingdoms. He seized it. It is what any king would do. 
Do not defend him. I am not. But consider what would happen if he ignored these allied kings. You're right to be upset. But you know Flan best. This was not a decision he made lightly. Let us go back and talk with him. If anyone can convince him to reconsider, it's you. Oh, I will. Whether he wants to or not. What? I am sorry, Eivard. I cannot let them erase us. <laughs> Eivor! Can you hear me? Eivor! Are you all right? Did you see Kira? I expected her here. Eivor? Sword flown. Stay close to me. Keep your guard up. Kira, where are you? Kira. Flan. It's enough, Kira. Surrender now. Nothing but a ruthless traitor. Hollow inside. You speak of honor. Where is yours? You know. With God, his son, another pawn in this endless war. He is my blood. Ah, yes. And you will throw away all reason to defend what you are sworn to. I am no different. My people will live to see tomorrow, if it means I have to kill you today. <sighs> you are unrelenting! Battle hardened over many victories. Do not make me add another. Do as you must. As will I. I would never see the Druids into darkness. I pretend to be my ally. I pretended nothing. I thought. I hoped you could be better. Better than Owen. Don't compare me to that demon. No. Look around you. You set in motion what the children of Dawnu hoped you could. You became the vessel for their plot. Always have been. After Mother died, I became the last. The last who could awaken the Leofar. Never did I think I would use this gift so foolishly. What now? It ends. Owen, the children of Danu, they only exist in pursuit of the stone's power, and I am the key to unleashing it. You must kill me. Kill me, Eivor. If I die, Tara's power dies with me, and there will be nothing left to lead my people astray. The old ways will return. Let me do this. Let me save them. Please. 
You may be the key to this power, but the stone is the source. Destroy it. You know I cannot. Your ancestors are souls in another realm. They will not despair of this stone's loss. Sometimes we must sacrifice what we treasure most to protect the ones we love. Bury the past. Build the future. Bow my head in contrition. I fail you. I fail you and the true druids of Ireland. For that, I truly apologize. I will speak to the kings and undo my rash decision. The land you have wished for is secure. I hope it is so, Flam. Farewell. Farewell, Eivor. Where will you go? How are you feeling? Bruised. Battered. But I'll live. Though it'll take some time to reclaim my pride. Took a lot not to kill you. If you wanted to, that was your chance. <laughs> I suppose at the end of all this, it's safe to call you a friend. See to it that Sigfrith's reign is long, and you shall never know me as your enemy. Have you met with the other kings? I take it that is why you have come. I have. The Inquisition is buried. High King is a leader to all who share in his land. You helped me see that. My only regret is not having understood it sooner. You work to secure a future for all. Hero would be pleased with this outcome. I know there is much that awaits you in England, Eivor. But you can set your boots in Ireland any time you please. Farewell, Flan. Until we meet again. What do you think my father would make of all this? Barith wanted to ensure the Dublin he left you could stand upright on its own two legs. And while he could not see it through, he would be proud you did. I will never forget what you did for my family. Our family, Sigfrith. Keep well, and may your father's hooger be with you always. It shall with me. Is done. Here are your blood-soaked bits of amber. Hmm. I felt them die, each by each. Boil these shards. Make your potion. I shall. I shall. I've been preparing for this since we met. You spoke of great power. The spear. You'll have it in your hands soon enough. Once you defeat Balor. You said nothing of this? 
Surely you remember Valor. He is heat, drought, a scorching sun come to Earth. I know of no such creature. Many heroes fell to him, but Woden would not. The lance called Gaebolug pierces his flesh. This is where he is weak. Are you ready to fight him? Let me drink. Drink deeply. You'll remember. Balar is ancient. He is <laughs> chaos itself. Defeat him, and the spear is yours. <laughs> I have come for your power. You would prevail. It was an unusual contest. The spear, Gay Bullock, is yours for crushing the children of Danu and defeating Valor. Despite all that's happened, Kira will find solace that the Danu have been extinguished. Small comfort, I suspect. I thank you for sparing her. Someday she may return to us here in the forest. Her spirit will be welcome. Goodbye, Deirdre. Slan, Eivor. Slan. Stop, Dringer. Have you lost your wits? Why berate a man long dead? This soldier promised deadly peace. He claimed he'd bested foe after foe. Each left more dead than the last. He is dead himself. You cannot kill him better. I sailed with the mighty Thorigest. I deserve my place in the Great Hall. An honorable death is all I ask. Could you, stranger, could you give me a just fight and at long last release me from this cursed life? You have suffered mightily. You deserve a seat next to Odin. Let it be so. Ava, I'm sorry. I did not notice you. Azar, is everything all right? Yes. No, it will be, once that bastard is dead and hanging from my rafters as sausages. I believe I know who this is about. Constantinos has come to Ireland. Yesternight, his ship pulled into the bay. I will deliver you his head. Your offer is appreciated, Eivor, but not necessary. He threatens our trade, does he not? I protect my greater interest and provide my partner a service. Very well. But do not deprive me of my revenge. Bring him back to me alive. I'd hope to finish you this time. You were always careless. At least I took your eye. And your brother, the sniveling sop. Along with your loud bitch of a screaming mother. Come on, have at it. Let's end this quickly. Quickly? Oh no, 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 my dear Constantinos. This will last a very long time indeed. Why else have I sharpened so many implements? I will unmake you tenfold for what you've done. You make a sorry Cyclops. Damn you to hell! 